why lithium ion, why hydrogen fuel cells? Um, are these two technologies uh, competing with one another? Are they complementary? Uh, we see often debates about uh, one versus the other. The lithium ion battery is an energy storage system, while a fuel cell is what we call an energy conversion device. Both are electrochemical systems. What does that mean? It means that those two systems, they both strive to replace combustion as an energy conversion process. So by avoiding the flame and the blowout um, into uh, mechanically recovering energy, uh, we move to an electrochemical process where a redox couple, an electrochemical reaction, uh, retrieves an electron or a charge from a uh, chemical compounds. And so fuel cells, what they do, they transform or convert energy stored in the form of hydrogen gas uh, and converts, converts that by transforming that gas into uh, electrons and then electricity. Um, so you have storage and conversion that occur simultaneously. While the lithium ion battery as an energy storage device uh, basically holds the fuel uh, and the conversion all uh, in one place, so they are not decoupled. Hydrogen systems are uh, uh, very energy dense. Uh, in fact, uh, hydrogen has the highest energy density and uh, three to four times uh, more uh, specific energy than diesel or gasoline. And when compressed and stored at high pressure, uh, you see those systems achieve uh, pretty, pretty long range. Now the systems have not benefited uh, at all yet from economies of scales, such as what lithium-ion batteries are experiencing now. But really the, the, the debate or the controversy there is, uh, or some even refer to as the... So currently the, the, the hydrogen is uh, retrieved from uh, what is most commonly known as uh, thermal reforming uh, or reforming, which is a high temperature uh, steam-based process. So you're still using diesel or natural gas to uh, uh, harvest the hydrogen and uh, move it around either uh, in liquefied or gaseous form. However, the ideal vision of the future is to have that hydrogen uh, be generated 100% uh, renewably from excess solar or wind through an electrolyzer that splits water into hydrogen and then fuel cells emit hydrogen to close that water cycle. Uh, really a very uh, utopic and, 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 and nice clean future that has been postulated since the 70s by scientists and uh, engineers and regulators and economists as well. Now, uh, today, today, um, fuel cells still need to be complemented uh, with batteries. In fact, fuel cells cannot restore uh, regenerative power, or at least not yet in the form of hydrogen on board. So batteries today are, are being placed, lithium ion batteries are being placed to what we call hybridize the system. And so um, there are the theories of hybridization that say, well, the same way my wireless network has hybridized the, 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 the laptop next to the LAN port, moving towards removing the LAN port to only wireless today, uh, the hybridization of theory says that as you start hybridizing a system, like the battery hybridizing the internal combustion engine, this signals the decline of the incumbent technology or, or, or the already status quo. So you've noticed uh, smaller batteries started moving into hybridizing the car to then improving in their performance, their cost, to then have a full electric vehicle. So one could wonder, is uh, our batteries hybridizing fuel cell systems are gonna lead to that same uh, evolution and then make those fuel cell systems obsolete? Um, there are arguments for both pros and cons. And so this will depend on how fast batteries will, 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 will evolve in front of uh, the evolution and, and, and the technological advancement of fuel cells. Now, the numbers show that there is no reason to, to make those two technologies compete together. Uh, they are uh, very complementary and uh, uh, diversification of energy sources, uh, be it stationary or mobile, uh, has shown uh, to be economically favorable 
and creates to higher, level, higher levels of efficiency. And in fact, one should always remember that hydrogen is the most uh, available element in space, actually. And uh, uh, fuel cell technology did start from uh, aerospace, from rockets and space flight. And so it would be difficult to see a future where hydrogen fuel cells, as well as batteries, co-live and complement our ever-evolving um, energy field.